I'll show you how to set up a Kraken wallet, how to back up the wallet properly, how to get crypto in and out, and all of the other features. So once you've downloaded the app, press Create Wallet in the bottom right. Now you can see there's an Import button as well. If you've already created a wallet, you can import it into this app. So if you lose your device or you delete the app, as long as you have your backups, you can recover the wallet that we're setting up now and gain access to all your crypto again. So no issues, and I'll show you how to do that. We're gonna create a new wallet in Kraken Wallet, and it's gonna create the wallet for us. What it's actually doing right now is creating the important thing for us, which is the private key. And as long as we have access to this private key and we back it up properly, we can gain access to our funds through Kraken Wallet in the future on a different device, or if we delete the app and re-download it. There's two ways to back up our private key. The first is through a recovery phrase or a seed phrase. That's the one at the bottom where it says back up manually. If I press this, it's gonna give me a list of 12 words. That is the wallet. So if I delete this app, as long as I've got those 12 words, I can re-download the app, put those 12 words in on the import screen, and it's gonna give me access to this wallet again. So if you wanna back it up manually, you can do, you'll have to write down those 12 words and keep them somewhere very safe. Uh, because if you lose those words and the app, you'll never get your crypto again. Now, if someone else has those 12 words, that means that they can recover your wallet as well, which means if they have those words, they have all your money. So don't show it to anyone and make sure you keep that super safe and not damaged. If that doesn't sound good for you, you might wanna choose the iCloud or the Google Cloud option. That's gonna take the private key and that seed phrase and it's gonna encrypt it in a file and it's gonna store it in your cloud account. And the way that you access that is through your pass key, so your biometrics. And that's encrypted in either Apple's or Google's servers. Now, that's way easier and you don't have the aspect of losing the seed phrase if you write it down somewhere. However, there is a slight hacking risk that you have to be aware of if for some reason your cloud account somehow gets hacked and they break the encryption on the file. That is a possibility, even though it's very, very low, it may happen. So it's up to you whether you want to do iCloud or Google Android Cloud and then the backup manually. So what I'm gonna do is skip this, which you can do and not back up the wallet at all. And I'm gonna go through to the wallet and it says, do you actually want to create this wallet without backing it up? And I'm gonna press confirm. The reason being is that I can look at the seed phrase when I'm in the wallet and back it up later. Do you want to log into the wallet with your biometrics? Uh, I probably would because if someone gains access to your device and there's no app lock on this app, then again, they can spend the crypto out of your wallet. Um, so I'm going to just set up the wallet right here and it should set up the wallet for us and give us all of our balances and everything else. Your wallet is ready. I'm gonna to agree to the terms. There we go. So we have our wallet set up and as you can see, Kraken Wallet supports a lot of different chains, a lot of EVM chains like Ethereum, uh, Bitcoin here, Solana and we can go ahead and use the wallet to deposit and withdraw crypto. Now I'll show you the settings and you can back up your wallet manually through those as well and it's gonna give you access to that. So in the top right, click the settings icon. Now you can see back up your wallet and it wants me to back it up because I haven't got a backup of it yet. Again, if I delete the app right now without the backup, I'll never gain access to this wallet ever again. So wallets and backups. And again, this is my secret recovery phrase. So I can click that. It won't show it for you, it's gonna show a black screen, but you can see some uh, words here, and if you wanna write those down and back it up manually again, you can do. If you're looking to use Kraken Wallet, there's a good chance you already have a Kraken Exchange account set up, and we can link the two accounts, and that just makes it easy to send crypto in and out of the wallet and the exchange. So we can go down to the connections here, Kraken Exchange, click that, go to connect, and then down at the bottom, it says connect Kraken Exchange. If you have an account already, you can go and log in with your username and password, and it will say, do you want to connect to this wallet with your exchange, press yes. Next time you withdraw assets from your Kraken exchange, it will just have a button there that says Kraken wallet. Click that, super easy to withdraw assets from your exchange to the wallet. You don't need to use Kraken centralized exchange to use Kraken wallet. We can use any exchange, but Kraken is a great exchange. I'll leave a link below if you don't have an account. Click that, sign up, you can buy crypto there, and then withdraw it from your exchange account into your wallet to use. Now I'll show you how to deposit some crypto into your wallet. If you've got the Kraken Exchange account linked, that's really easy, but I'm gonna show you the manual way to do this so that you can do it no matter what exchange that you're using. I'm gonna press receive in the middle and it's gonna give me my wallet addresses. If you do have Kraken Exchange linked, go and press fast transfer from Kraken, that's super easy. However, we're gonna copy our wallet address. So I've got my Ethereum addresses here, Solana, Bitcoin and Dogecoin. 
all of the EVM networks like Arbitrum, Optimism, Base, Inc, which is Kraken's chain, Ethereum mainnet, they all use the exact same wallet address in your wallet. However, they are different networks. So it's important to know that when you're withdrawing crypto from your centralized exchange into your wallet, you choose the network that you want to use because those networks are different. Even though they're the same wallet address, ETH on base is not ETH on Inc, right? They're different networks. So you have to make sure that you withdraw over the network that you want to use. So I'm gonna copy my Ethereum address here and we go over to my exchange. I'm gonna show you in my Kraken exchange, but it's the same process for every exchange if you're not using Kraken. Go and buy the asset that you want to buy. Once you've got it, you press withdraw and you withdraw it over the network that you wanna use. So I'm gonna press withdraw. I'm gonna withdraw ETH. And I've already got my wallet set up here, but I'm gonna show you how to set it up. So add withdrawal address, see the networks here. All of these networks are able to use with the same wallet address. So I have to make sure that the ETH that I'm sending out of my Kraken account is going to the network that I wanna use it on. Whether it's Inc or Optimism or Arbitrum, whatever one that you want to use, make sure that you withdraw it over that network so that the ETH goes into the network that you wanna use. If you're using Bitcoin, there's only one Bitcoin network. Just buy your Bitcoin, withdraw the Bitcoin out to your wallet address, no issues. So I'm gonna withdraw my ETH. I'm gonna press this one. You can see all the details. I'm gonna withdraw the amount there. And I'm using the base network just to show you, but just check everything. Make sure your address is correct. Make sure the network that you're using is correct as well. If you're using any of the smart contract chains like Ethereum and Solana, you always need some of the base layer coin like ETH and SOL on the network to pay for transaction fees. So if you're using your wallet, you need some of this, either ETH or SOL, whatever network that you're using, get some amount in your wallet first and then you can go ahead and pay for transaction fees. That crypto has now hit my account and you can see in my recent activity, I've got a deposit of ETH and to the bottom right, the base logo showing me that this ETH is on the base network. If I were to receive ETH on one of the other networks like Inc or Optimism, those logos would be to the bottom right denoting that it's the same asset, it just exists on a different network. And you can't use the same asset across all the networks. You have different balances across them. Scroll down to your assets here, and it makes sense now. ETH on base, I've got a balance. ETH on Arbitrum or Inc or the mainnet, I don't have a balance. So that's how it works. And you can manage this top right, click manage. If you wanna send Bitcoin in, you can see your Bitcoin uh, wallet right here, and I'll just put B BTC balances right here. So you can see all of your assets here. Now I'll show you how to send crypto out of the wallet. And again, it matters which network that you're using. I've got ETH on the base network. That means wherever I'm gonna send this, they need to also accept the base network. It's not good enough that they have an Ethereum address with the mainnet, because my ETH isn't on mainnet. So wherever I'm sending this, as long as they accept ETH on the base network, I know I can send it into them. For Bitcoin, everyone accepts it. There's one network, no issues. So Ethereum on base, I'm gonna press send. And it says, where do you want to send it? So if you're sending this to another wallet, then you can go ahead and do that. If they want it on the base network, that's great. If you're sending to a centralized exchange, just make sure that they accept this asset on the network that you're using, whether it's base or Inc or anywhere else. Where do you want to send it? I'm gonna get my exchange wallet address. I'll go back to my Kraken exchange to make it easy. So deposit this time. And what asset are you depositing? I'm depositing ETH. I'm depositing it on the base network, so I have to choose that one. If that wasn't an option and Kraken didn't support base, I wouldn't be able to send it into them. But they do, I understand. Here's my wallet address. So copy that wallet address, then go back into your wallet. I'm just gonna paste in the wallet address here. How much do you wanna send up at the top? I'm gonna press the max amount. Now, when you're sending any asset out of your wallet or doing anything on a blockchain, you have to pay a gas fee. So for Inc and Base and all the EVM networks, most of them anyway, you'll be paying ETH for gas. If you're using Bitcoin, then no problem. You just spend a bit of the Bitcoin in the network fee. And for Solana, you need to sell. If you don't have any of that coin to pay for the gas fees, you won't be able to do anything out of the wallet, including sending assets out. So you always need some of the layer one coin to pay for gas. So I'm gonna send to ETH and also pay for gas in ETH. Down here, network fee. You can do urgent, fast, normal. Normal may take a little bit more, but it may be a little bit cheaper. Let's just do fast. Press the max amount to send. You can see who you're sending it to, which is either an exchange account or another wallet. Press continue and then go ahead and send that out. Now I'll show you how to swap assets in Kraken Wallet. So whichever blockchain that you're using, it's important to know that you need to pay transaction fees on that network. If you're using EVM style networks, you need ETH for most of them. If you're using Solana, you need Sol. You can't swap without paying the transaction fee. 
So we'll press swap. Now what we can also do is use the layer one coin that we have, like ETH or Solana, as value to swap into another coin. So you can do that at once. So I've got some Ethereum on my account, so I'm gonna press this. And it says, what asset do you want to switch it into? Let's switch it into a stable coin, like USDC. USDC exists on the base network. You can see I've got ETH on base and USDC on base. We can um, transfer some sort of amount, so like this. And if I swap that amount of ETH, it's gonna give me the exchange rate and it tells me that I'm gonna swap 0.003 ETH into this amount of USDC. We don't really know what's happening here. We don't really know the exchange rate and if it's a good exchange rate or not. And we have to go through that swap if we want to. You can see the transaction fees are very low, the rate right here. If you click on best value, you can see best value overall or fastest transaction. I'm gonna do best value here. You'll see that the route here is going from ETH and it's swapping via, via open ocean. Now, this is an aggregator, so you would hope this gives you a decent exchange rate for the swap. But you can go and look manually on certain exchanges as well to see if this is a good deal. But I'll just show you as an example here. So we wanna swap $5, press swap, press confirm. That's just doing the exchange rate for me, finding the best route, and that should swap the ETH into USDC. You have to pay a transaction fee here and there will be an FX spread from the decentralized exchanges as well. But once that's done, you'll see the balances in your account should be different. So that will go from ETH and you should have a balance of USDC in your account on that same network that you're using. A quick note here as well, if you are using Kraken Wallet to send some USDC or other stable coins around from this wallet to another wallet, in order to send stable coins, you still need some of the layer one coin to pay for the transaction fee. There'll be a small fee of like a penny or something to send the stable coin from your wallet to the other wallet, and you need to pay that in the gas coin. So ETH for the EVM networks, Solana for the Solana network, and so on. You can see that swap has now occurred. My assets, I've got USD coin. Press this one, send. And in order to send it, I have to pay gas in ETH. So if you don't have any ETH in your account, then you can't send the USDC. So make sure you've always got a little bit, little bit of the layer one coin to pay for the transaction fees. Kraken also has a DAP browser, which means we can use blockchain apps directly within the wallet. Go down to the bottom of your wallet, click the middle icon. Now they're gonna push you to use Inc, which is their layer two network. Totally fine if you wanna use that. You can use other applications and different networks if you want though. So you can see Earn Yield with DeFi. This is showing you some stable coin yields that are around. Every app is different and Earn Yields differently. So definitely know what you're getting into before using any of these. I've got tutorial videos for all the major DeFi apps. So if you wanna know how they work, go and watch those videos on my channel. But down here, popular DeFi apps. Let's connect to Aave, so we'll press open. We're gonna press connect wallet in the top. We're gonna to connect our Kraken wallet. And then we can see what we can do on Aave. Press connect. Now Aave is a lending protocol, which means that if I've got some assets in my wallet, then I can lend them out for some yield. If we go down to the base market, you can see assets to supply. It's reading my wallet here and it knows that I've got some ETH and some USDC. So what I'm gonna do is supply USDC. I'm gonna lend USDC on the, on the protocol. Current APY is 3.33%, so I'm gonna press supply. I'm gonna switch to the base network, press max. I can put that USDC in and I get the yield, that's a yearly yield, back. Now I can approve the USDC down at the bottom and then after it's approved, I can press supply. That supplies the USDC into the protocol. I start, an, uh, start earning the yield. I can withdraw that anytime as well. If you want to know how to use Aave, I'll leave a full tutorial down in the description so that you know exactly what's going on there. But that is how you would connect the wallet to an application and go ahead and use it pretty easily. I'll leave the Kraken Exchange sign up link down below and some other bonuses and sign up offers for the exchanges I use and all the other helpful videos will be down there as well. I'm James, it's Money ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.